understand what motivated his mother to do what she did. Doesn't understand why he said no. Didn't want know why she let him get away with it. There are a lot of unknowns in here that, he's, that, that keeps him at this point from being able to connect the parts the way he would like to. In every pathologo scene, it starts out when someone is in a good state of mind and someone interrupts it, pulls them away from it, in some way or another, separates them from that. Why is that a problem? Because then we have to then figure out why they did it. And in our way of viewing the universe, it doesn't make any sense. Okay. It doesn't make any sense. So we come to some kind of a half-baked conclusion, and that's our problem. But we don't put it into words because it never was in words. Okay. So you can only recall what you put into words. If it wasn't, okay. All right. And since it wasn't put into words, all you have is some half-baked, half-formulated way of understanding this event. Okay. Do you, do you think uh, the horse jumping in the water has some, since it followed, has something to do with this? Maybe? That's where we're going. All right. Now. Uh, we're going to do the same thing here. There you are. You're attracted to the small pool of water where the horse and rider disappeared into. You have that question. What happened? And what would happen if they came out fast and ran over me? That's a state of mind. We're going to do the same thing with that that we did with the other. Now you're worried of the reappearance from that very sort. What's that like? Same, same questions. Anything at all that comes up, we'll take anything. I got a flash on this. Okay, just try. right now. Yeah. I asked myself, who was that riding on the horse? Because I think I know who the horse is. Uh -huh. I think that was my mother riding on my father. Mm -hmm. That's what I think it's it was. Right. I think it's it was right. my, my father's the black horse. Mm -hmm. And I, my mother, I think, was, was okay. riding the horse. Uh -huh. I'm not sure, though. You know, that didn't well, flash, so. No, it's, it's okay. Out. Come on. So, but rather than identify who the f what, what or who the figures are, I'm interested in that state of mind that you're into. Okay. There you are, fascinated now with the pool. It's a small pool. And you have this question, what would happen if they came out? Fast. Scared. What's that like? Uh, it's, it's enough to make me get up and, and run and head for cover. That's the scene we're looking at. Yes, it had the effect that it made you get up and run out. That's right. That's right. 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 Just consider that. Consider that. Right. Put you in that state. Right. Put you in state such a state that you get out quick. Right. Right. What's that? Where does that? Anything similar to that in your past? Uh, just give me one. I can't. I can't get them out. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Just uh, hey, I understand you've been you enjoy that state of being curious, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we all do. But that you, you have an interest in that kind of state of mind too. Right? Being curious, that's a very high state. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And now that you're fascinated by it, they may reappear right, and run you over. But I just ra rather, rather now that there's a fascination. You're curious, right? You're yeah, curious yeah, about it. That water, in all those, yeah. that water is the same colors again. Mm -hmm. Draws you. Mm -hmm. Draws you. It's attractive, it's beautiful, it draws you again. It's gets you, that makes you curious. Actually, what drew me there was, I was just, wow, those guys Go went into that little puddle of water and disappeared. How can they do that? Yeah. Um, yeah. So I go to check it out, and mm -hmm. I get scared when I'm looking in there because they might come flying out of there. Mm -hmm. uh, they might come flying out. Well, they did get in the car. My mom and dad did get in the car. Go ahead. I did get in the car, and, and we drove off. Um, mm -hmm. uh, shoot, I don't know if the puddle has anything to do with the car or what. Uh, we don't. Just um, you see, you know something about yourself now, two and three, and that is that there's something that you're drawn towards. It interests you. You find it attractive. There's a certain beauty to it. All right? It awakens a certain curiosity. You're drawn then. All right. So. Um, well, I'm, I'm also. I go to the beach. I'm scared to get in the water. And as a kid, I was afraid to go in swimming pools. And to this day, I can't swim. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I have gotten in the pool, and some people have showed me how to swim, but I just avoid yeah. pools of water. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a swimming pool around where I go, and it's, mm -hmm. I've been in a swimming pool once in four years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, they pulled you away from it. Sorry? They pulled you away from it. Uh, you were pulled away from what you found very attractive. Mm -hmm. Find it interesting that uh, this could be said that the mother pulled him away from his friend and he ends the friendship. You're pulled away from that scene and you make some kind of conclusion about that event and since then you don't return to it. Uh, when was the dream you had? When was that dream? I had that dream probably about six years ago. Mm -hmm. And um, I've looked at it and looked at it, but when, you know, in your class I've been looking at this, what the symbols mm -hmm. mean. And, um, so you, got, you see, so you, you avoided it. all water since. Could this be the origin of it? It might. See that? I was I was thrown on the ground there. Oh. I just didn't crawl there myself. I was thrown there. In what way? Talk about it. Um, I was thrown there on the ground. Go ahead. Well, Go ahead. See, originally I was in that car. Uh-huh. And I was in that car for a long time uh -huh. while my brother was being born in the hospital. Uh -huh. And my mom and dad had left me in the car. Mm -hmm. 